Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. This week we're looking at three Transformers from the Authentics line. This line is for the more budget-minded Transformers fans, so they're a little bit cheaper. I found these at my local Ollie store. First up, we have Bumblebee. He actually only takes four steps to transform, so that should be pretty fun and easy. Next up, we have the Decepticon Starscream. On the back, it says he takes eight steps, so twice as many as Bumblebee. I love Starscream, that should be a lot of fun. And last up, we have Optimus Prime. And he actually only takes four steps, just like Bumblebee. So all of these should be pretty simple to transform, but I'm looking forward to it. So let's open them up and check them out. The Transformers Authentics toys are unboxed and ready to go. These are pretty big toys for about $10. Now I got them for $5.99 at Ollie's, so not too bad at all. Here is the Bumblebee Rescue Bot next to Bumblebee. We've got Optimus Prime Rescue Bot next to Optimus Prime, and then finally Starscream next to Starscream. So you can see they're a pretty good size next to the Rescue Bots. Let's start by transforming Bumblebee. He would be a great first transformer for someone if you're not going to get them the Bumblebee Rescue Bot because he only takes four steps, fairly easy to transform. We're going to start by lifting up his shoulders like this and like this. Now his little forearms that can move and can make him say, I'm super strong, need to go in these little gaps here. So slide those in and slide that in that gap and then flip it around and we kind of squeeze everything together. These little tabs need to go in. So we just give those a squeeze in the back, squeeze on the side, make sure this side is in. Yep, and the back of the car is ready to go. You've got this fancy spoiler. Then the front, we simply flip these up like this and this and squeeze together like that. Make sure all the sides are in and Bumblebee is transformed into his vehicle or alt mode. Now they don't have a lot of paint on there, only on the windshield. That's because these are just a little bit cheaper of Transformers, but I think he rolls really well. Yeah, so that's a lot of fun. So he rolls really well, he's easy to transform, I like Bumblebee. Let's see how Optimus Prime transforms. Now Optimus Prime has a few more movements than Bumblebee. He can actually rotate at the knees, so get some knee bend in there. He has forearm movement and his head can rotate around. But to transform him, we need to rotate up at the shoulders like this. And then you can see these little pieces here slide in. So we're gonna slide this in carefully and slide this part in carefully. And you can see this is gonna be the front of the truck. So we take this piece and swing it up, swing it up and over. So let's match everything up and then see how it just locks. I already got it locked in place locks in place just kind of snaps in place pretty easily so the front of the truck is done we're almost there we're going to rotate these pieces around this little part is going to slide right in there so slide that in there and slide this one in there and i think this snaps in a little bit yeah that's pretty good and optimus prime is transformed into his truck mode his alt mode how does he roll he has six wheels to roll on hopefully pretty well yeah, not all Transformers roll very well. These roll great. Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Great rolling Transformers. I think either of these would be great for a beginner collector. Starscream takes eight steps. Let's see how he transforms. Last but not least, we have Starscream. He is an interesting one. He is a lot newer than these two. These two have been out for a while. This guy's been out for maybe about a year now. He comes with two weapons, his null rays. You can put him on the sides of his arm or you can put them in his hands, either one. But traditionally, Starscream has his null rays on his arms and shoots him like this. So I would recommend putting them on the sides of his arms. So I'm gonna take them off for now because we're about to transform him. The only problem with this Starscream, check it out. His legs are so wobbly. I can't even get him to stand upright like this. All right. I thought he was gonna stand for a second there. That's why I had him propped against the back there. But what you can do, and this is involved in the transformation, is you give it a little push. Come on, give it a little push and the legs slide up like that and it's a little bit more stable, but then he's all stubby. Look how short his legs are. That's not as cool, but he can stand like that. That's not too bad, but his legs do not match the rest of his body 
if they're that short and stubby. So we can give them a big pool. You can see he can finally get a knee bend like Optimus Prime. That's pretty cool, but they're so wobbly. All right, let's get him transformed. First up, we can push up these wobbly legs like this and like this, and then we can latch them together right in the middle like that. They snap together and we can pull these blue flaps out on either side. And then on the back, you just want to make sure that it latches in here to get that streamlined look on the back of the jet. Next, we can bring the nose cone down all the way down, kind of locks into place. But you can see the wings look backwards, so we have to flip those around. So we're going to move the arms a little bit. And we're going to rotate these down. Now, if they pop out, it's no big deal. You just pop them right back in. That's what you had to do. They were like this right out of the packaging. So we just slide them in like this if they pop off, no big deal. So rotate this one as well and kind of latch it in place. Let's flip it over to make sure everything looks good. All right, then see, we have to get the shoulders out of the way and put the null rays on. So let's fold these up like this and like this and then bring the shoulders down. It sounds like it's breaking when I do it. I can't figure out, quite figure out how to do it. I think it's like that. You can hear that snapping sound though. Just don't think it's right. All right, so his shoulders are down out of the way, hiding in this view, but now we need his null rays. So we're gonna put those in. We're gonna take this one and put it in the side of his arm here. If I can figure that out, there we go. And then take this one and put it in the other side. And then from above, it looks so cool. Check that out. Starscream is looking awesome. You can definitely tell he's a newer mold. Look at all the paint he has in comparison to these two. He also has the added weapons. Starscream's a bit harder to transform, but he looks really cool in his alt mode. Which Transformers Authentics character was your favorite? These two are much easier to transform, but this one has all the paint and the cool weapons, and he's a jet, which is awesome. I honestly think I do like Starscream the best, but I really like how well these roll, and I think these are excellent toys for beginner Transformers fans. So you really can't go wrong with any of them, especially if you spot them for $5.99 at your local Ollie store. Hey, thanks for watching today, and as usual, be sure to tune back in every week for more fun Transformers toys videos. You can see these go in and out like this. You gotta give a little push in and out. So we have to rotate his shoulders up and rotate his other shoulder like this all the way 